bound of tuppenny rice, half a pound of treacle. That's the way the money goes. Pop goes the weasel. <laughs> so, I don't think those are mine. What's what a lot of S's there are. Hmm? A lot of S's. <laughs> A lot of S's? S's, yes. Mm. Greetings. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Say hello to Hannah. Oh, hello, Hannah. <laughs> I can't see you. There's no picture of you in the back of that machine. <laughs> Papa's just playing with his phone. <laughs> Granny. And the kitty sitting here posing for photographs. <laughs> yes. Granny as sweet as ever. <laughs> Love you. There once was a girl called Little Hannah Bean, sweetest little girl we've ever seen. No one else has ever, ever been half as sweet as Hannah Banna Bean. <laughs> you choose the key. <laughs> Is that too low, too low for you? I think it's good for me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Where, Where you walk, cool girl shelf and the blade. <laughs> Trees where you sit shall crowd into a shade. <laughs> Trees where you sit shall crowd into a shade. Where you walk, cool girl shall fan the glade. Trees where you sit shall crowd into a shade. Special bridesmaid dress. Yeah, it's just a sort of rustly dress. Okay. <laughs> so sweet. What's Kathy saying? She's saying. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. <laughs> just a little bit of it. Her coming out. <laughs> and I'm not sure whether you think you've sort of won that round. <laughs> oh, Kitty. Oh, sweet. And Granny, so sweet. <laughs> What was that? 
Cherry ripe, cherry ripe, ripe. I call I full and fair ones come and buy. Cherry ripe, cherry ripe. I call I cry. Full and fair ones come and buy. <laughs> yes, it was pretty silly, wasn't it? What a lot of S's there are. Hmm? A lot of S's. <laughs> a lot of S's? S's, yes. We love you. I'm going to start by saying you have the best stories. You take us down memory lane every time we're together. You're always up for everything and with enthusiasm and joy that I have never seen in anybody uh, throughout such a long time. You are amazing to my mom. I think you've probably made a million cups of tea and you always greet her with such love. And we notice that all the time. And we think you are simply the most amazing 89 year old guy walking this earth. <laughs> now it's my turn. Papa, I love your aggressive hugs. Even though it hurts so much, you're still very nice. <laughs> Morning, Doug. I, I'm going to uh, say I, I love your sense of adventure, even in your, what is it, 100th decade, 10th decade, really, you're in your 10th decade now, which is really quite amazing. And yet you'll still, at this age, get on a plane and go to France for a few days with your daughters and niece. That's, uh, that's something I hope to be doing when I'm 89. Hi, Papa. I also love your hugs. And I love spending time rummaging through the basement, looking at old photos and family history. Love you! We love you! Cut. Bye! Oh! <laughs> Papa, there are no words to describe everything that you are, everything that you've taught me, the way you make every day interesting and fun, the way you make every detour down a back road an adventure, the way you find something to be interested in in every situation and every person. Um, as a grandfather and a father to Jack and I, you, there's, there's no one better in the world and I love you so, so much. Happy birthday, Papa. And here are a few things that I love about you. I love that you have always been a fun dad. Adventurous, goofy, um, looking to laugh, looking to make other people laugh, uh, ready to act the fool. Going on an errand with you was always bound to be a fun thing to do. Never knowing where we might end up or what we might do along the way. You've always been a fun dad. 
I love your curiosity about the world and the people in it. Uh, wherever we would be going for a drive, whether in the city or on the outskirts or across the province or on a camping trip or a road trip somewhere, you would be posing the questions. Where, now where do you suppose the people that live in that building are from? What do you suppose they do? Um, I wonder where they're coming from, where they're going to. I love that um, wondering about people and um, the interest in social life. I love that you've always loved animals. Um, those little, um, anything, anything. Uh, I love that you love Bella and Kitty, that you're so delighted when Kitty jumps up on your lap. I love that. Um, I love that you've always taken an interest in my friends. I love that my friends know you and care about you. They ask me about you. And that's because you've shown interest in them and you've been interesting to talk to and fun <laughs> whenever they're over. Uh, I love that you are generous, that you have a social conscience that you contribute to, that you're committed to social causes and you contribute to them generously, quietly, generously. And I love that you're, I love your steady love. Never showy, uh, always steady, always sincere, always deep. I love overhearing the conversations that you and mom are having downstairs now that I'm living upstairs, uh, that after 60 years together, you're still finding things to talk about and you're, um, you're flushing them out. I can hear your voices downstairs. And I love that any time I come downstairs with food or an idea for an activity or outing, Nine times out of 10, your first question is, what do you think, Pam? What would you like, Pam? You look to mom and, and you ask her to lead and you wonder what she's thinking. And I love that. And I love you. Happy birthday. Hey, Papa, it's Jack. Just popping in to say that I love you and we appreciate you for everything you do, including teaching me how to drive and always being around to throw a ball or dribble basketball and all those microwave experiments that we had when Hannah and I were younger, seeing what kind of damage a marshmallow can do to the inside of a microwave and then rushing to clean it all up before Granny gets home. Uh, we all appreciate you very much and we all love you so much. Dad, when I look back on the many things and the many ways that our family has been influenced by you, it's adventure and the outdoors that come to mind, especially skiing. From Sunday afternoons on Gorsbeck Hill, to many family holidays, to Fraser's plans for a career in the mountains, it's all possible because you wanted us to ski. Jeff wasn't even a skier when we met, and now he can't imagine his life without it. It's an incredible gift that continues to give us all so much. Thank you. Song's called Henry Street. It's a strange world of language in which skating on thin ice can get you into hot water. Amazing. <laughs> I still have a trumpet in the basement. And French horn. And French horn. When there were too many trumpets one year, oh, no. and he said, I, I should switch to French horn. Well, we had a French horn guy who had left, so we had no French horn, so we never bought a French horn. Uh, an ordinary French horn, and then eventually he bought a double French horn. So somebody made this for you? With the... I don't know. Yeah. No, some, somebody, somebody in the family found that as a present for you. Oh, like a, like a garage sale or something? I don't know. I don't know. I like it. It's really it, cute. It, 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 it would sit on the piano, but then it got tucked away somewhere. Anyway. And it got untucked. Yeah, that's my trumpet finger. Oof. 
hooks around in the middle of the <laughs> You don't want to hear me play the trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Come join us. <laughs> this trumpet song calls camp. for trumpet. <laughs> the trumpet desk can't on this song. <laughs> Don't be afraid to call her name The one you love, little bird Don't be afraid to hear her song And sing it back to the wind Go, I won't let 